Hi, Sandersville Sharks. It's Miss Oakley. Uh, first, we want to say from all of your teachers that we love you and we miss you and we look forward to seeing you soon. The purpose of this video is for parents and students, and it's just a video that's going to let you know what's to come in math, what our end result's going to be for the next two weeks of NTI, um, and as well as some vocabulary that you're going to be using with your student. The first thing that we will discuss on the next day of NTI will just the understanding that the numbers 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on have groups of 10. So what I mean by that is if I had the number 30, knowing that the number 3 is three groups of 10. So another way of saying that would be 10 plus 10 plus 10 to make 30. Three tens and zero extra ones. The next thing that you will hear us talking about would be quick tens and ones. So drawing a picture for groups of 10. For instance, if we had the number 32, we might ask your student to draw quick tens to represent this number. And that would look like three quick tens three lines. You might also hear us call that rods or sticks, and they would mean the same thing. So if I were to draw 32 with quick tens and ones, it would be three quick tens and two extra ones. So you'll hear the, that vocabulary interchanged, rods, sticks, quick tens, and it means the same thing. The next thing that we will also be doing in those upcoming NTI days would be adding and subtracting from multiples of 10. So that's just, um, if I say to build 50, remove 20, that's the same as saying, I have 50, take away 20, leaves me with what? And I can draw a picture to show that. This would be a good representation for the kids. They would draw their quick tens and ones. The number 50 has five quick tens and zero extra ones, and it's telling me to take away two tens, or 20. So I would X out, and I, it's easy for those kids to see that you're left with three tens. So 50 minus 20 would be 30. Okay, and during those two weeks of NTI, we will also be discussing greater than and less than, and we're going to be comparing two-digit numbers. You will compare to, they will compare two-digit numbers with quick tens and ones or pictures and also the numerals. So you'll see a worksheet that might have the number 22 in quick tens and ones and perhaps the number 12, and it's going to ask your student greater than or less than. It's 22 greater or less than 12, and they would have to put the greater than symbol. Or you're also going to see um, numbers represented as well, so it would be the number 22 and the number 12, and they would have to decide whether it's greater than or less than. So that would be upcoming as well. And the last thing that will happen um, during those two weeks of NTI would be to add and subtract 10 from any two-digit number. So not just those whole tens, but also um, numbers with some extra ones. So 47 take away 20 or 32 take away 10. Um, also placed inside of the next NTI packets will be just a 100 chart that's purely there. So your student can find the number on the 100 chart and e easily see what's 10 more or 10 less. That's why that's there. Some vocabulary I want to make sure that I hit. I know I said you'll hear quick tens and ones. That's just representing a 10 with a straight line. And those extra ones are represented with circles. Um, you'll also hear the word digit. So that's just talking about the place that that number is in. Is it in the tens place or the ones place? Um, we are only talking about the tens and the ones place um, at this time. Um, I think that's all for now. We, were, we are available if you need us. Um, you know how to contact us. Feel free to um, reach out to us if you need our help. Each lesson 
Um, most of the lessons will also have a direct instruction video um, with it. So that should help a little bit too. Appreciate it. Thank you.